seconds. Uno, dos, tres. A few months ago, I decided to declare war on my World of Warcraft guild. Now, no. you might be thinking, <clears throat> but why, Pint? I thought you were a good boy. Well, I'm gonna tell you. The arduous sin they committed. V3? What they did In to incite my divine wrath. <laughs> they didn't give me this sword, and I want it. <laughs> Back in phase one, this was one of the most sought after items in Molten Core. Well, you know, after after Toep and Manor Igniting Core and, and Ring of Spellcrown and, and Trotter, everything mm, else. But Mageblade is clearly <laughs> the best because look, it's a sword. It, it, it sparkles. Now I know, I know. It's a reasonable drop rate, and even warriors are getting it now. But somehow, after a whole year in Classic, this item has still evaded my poor little gnome. So who is to blame? Is it just unlucky? Is it just unfair? Is this video just an elaborate presentation for why I feel entitled to loot? So here's my guild you? history. Say At the when. launch of Classic, I joined a nifty little guild while I was leveling and was very set on my endgame goals. Pump, big numbers, pump, big damage, damage, <laughs> loot, loot gear, loot and gear, yes, yeah. yes, Stay in. And I hope to make some friends along the way. And you know, once I got to 60, I was pumping just fine and I had already made plenty of real homes. Okay, okay. loot was about to take a turn Uno, for the worst. Now the first mage blade that dropped went to a giga pumping chad warlock. This guy was trying to stack as many world buffs as he could by like week four. And he watched anime, so he was probably the main character of the raid, <laughs> not me. So no complaints there, right? Well that was until, you know, someone got made officer and decided to- oh. I'm gonna leak the loot priority, haha. <laughs> and you know, it's a good thing they leaked it, because the top two people on Prio for Mageblade were Paladins. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's see where I am. <laughs> Pint, <laughs> fuck this guy. I'm never gonna give him any loot. I hate him. He's like Gnome Hitler. I fucking hate Pint. So yeah, turns out my GM fucking hated me because of my epic YouTube gaming channel. Or maybe he hated the fact that I'd tell people to subscribe to Pint in, in raids. <laughs> and he believed that my behavior was egotistical and virgin-like. Which I can't disagree with. Between the constant lying, the two-hour MC clear times, and the numerous e-girl scandals, me and the boys figured it was time to jump ship to a new guild. By now, I had gone Pero four bueno, months no without Mageblade, and the first guild disbanded later that week. <laughs> but I am an optimistic gnome and can look at the future with a positive eye. I am sure in my new guild, Serenity, there will be no problems and things will be completely different yeah, and I will definitely get the items I want. <laughs> Credit where it's due, the leadership in Serenity was pretty good. But at the time, they operated on a rolling system. But, you know, I figured, what could be more fair than Lady Luck? It seems pretty unlikely you're gonna go super long without getting anything. Hello, no me conoces. Twelve more weeks without getting my guiding moonlight. I saw freshly capped 60s get it on their first molten core. But huh, I can't take it out on Serenity, it's just unlucky, right? After all, they did change the loot rules after. But it didn't hurt any less. <laughs> to them, it was just an unlucky hot streak of not getting any loot. You know, but but for me, it had been more yeah. than eight months without getting a very specific item that I'd been pumping very hard to try and earn. No. The psychological iceberg of pent-up entitlement was about to tip. Oh. So, I decided I wasn't going to take it anymore. I quit the game to play that video game made for children where you grind every day in hopes for some arbitrary, random, mostly cosmetic improvement. Animal Crossing New Horizons, no. which I'll no. admit was kind of just like the gaming no, equivalent of the game sex, so I See, you to say it's really and came back to Azeroth. <laughs> and since WoW Retail had mysteriously vanished after Legion, <laughs> I decided to come back <laughs> to <laughs> and give Serenity <laughs> one final chance. Sorry. I made a vow. If I don't get Mageblade right now, I am going to make a Horde tune and gank you all. I left it up to Lord's will. And when no loot from the boss dropped that I needed, the Lord said, Pint, my son, don't <laughs> let them hoes treat you bad. Ride up on them bitches and stomp them the fuck out. Now, oh. I ain't no bitch. Okay, well, maybe I'm kind of a bitch, but I'm not a bitch when it comes to loot. Your fate is sealed. Prepare to die. 
Well, boys, let me tell you, there's <laughs> only a few things more sweet than Mira a Joker. and revenge is one of them. You get what you fucking deserve. Bang. He was Meat not hunt, gay for my where? second mage in my little <laughs> side project for the past few weeks. Look at how sad she is. It's because she doesn't have mage blade. I'd sit on this tune getting boosted through dungeons by my absolutely new chad of a guild who actually love and respect me. After taking about two weeks to get to level 40, I decided to go fucking sicko mode on them and use my full power. Mage be nimble, mage be quick, mage level fast and suck your dick. I started off in Zulfarak doing a newfound zombie farm and was getting about 140,000 XP Lama, per hour. No, 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 no. This, is, this isn't cheating, this is completely fine, what are you talking about? Whilst my friend was leveling like a normal fucking person, getting about 25,000 per hour. What a fucking casual. No, oh. get out of that. Wait, why are my sheep? Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> In only about 10 hours of gameplay, I've gone from level 40 to level 55. But oh shit! My guild's doing a molten core, and I'm level 55. So I need to get attuned and put this puppy in the full gear. So with the help of a demigod warlock who is unfazed by solid matter, oh I managed to get my molten no? core attunement just in the nick of time. <gasps> now in this molten core, my guild actually let me roll on loot under the pretense that I would hit 60 within the next week. I received a mediocre belt, a comfortable pair of mittens, and one of the best, most sought-after rings a mage can get in the whole no. game. And I couldn't even equip any of it. No. Yeah, yeah. Ciao, me voy a la hora del toque. From there, I made my way to Zul Guru, where I opted to beat my head against a brick wall for fucking hours on end because I'm too stubborn. I will get this eventually. I fuck! <laughs> Until my skill prevailed and I was getting about 300,000 XP per hour, which no. is quite literally the fastest leveling method in the entire game. Bringing oh, me from level 58 to 60 in about 90 minutes. <laughs> my last video didn't sí, finish the game mage. No, These fucking si now I could finally equip my epic items. Wow! I look the exact fucking same! <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to raid the next week, so one of my friends gave me some extremely wise advice. Pint, you should start a GDKP also, uh, you are cool. Now, if you don't nah, know what a GDKP boy. is, essentially everyone bids on items for gold, and then all of that gold is divided amongst all the raid members at the end of the raid. Now, seeing as I'm playing on an American server, I figured I'd embrace the culture no, a bit and indulge in one of the country's sí. oldest traditions. <laughs> Violent <laughs> capitalism. So I got some of my friends together and I made a nifty little discord and I started spamming trade chat more than any of my competitors like the anime villain I am. Mm -hmm. Anytime a mage would whisper <laughs> me, I'd go to their Warcraft logs and check if they needed any of the gear that I needed. And if they did, well... We'd be conveniently full on mages. How unfortunate. <laughs> and somehow, by the time Raid came around, we had multiple Thunder Fury wielders, a Scarab Lord, and a High Warlord all in the raid ready to go. After a home run from Gar and a Shazra Shinobi, morale was still looking high and some pretty swanky items had dropped. No. We defeated Ragnaros <gasps> the Fire Lord and it was time to let the Vultures feast. I got a nice pair of Yeezys for Una pretty cheap, roja, I got some sweet new gloves to finish up my 3 set, and won the tier 2 pants at a hearty 75 gold. After the rogues had finished bidding on their second-hand eagle bloodfang pants, you are not we decided it was time to start auctioning the most coveted of items. Oh. My feet picks! <laughs> Hold on, you just looked at my feet. Wait, wait, do you feel that? It's the cold unblinking eyes of your isp hackers okay, and the queen of england but worry not my dear viewer because with express vpn yeah, you look at your activity <laughs> hidden and encrypted so that neither her majesty nor anyone else can see what you're doing online now you can watch all of those felix makeup tutorials you've been wanting to watch without anyone knowing <laughs> it's okay with me. But that's not all. I know you have plenty of time to catch up on all those Netflix shows while you wait for Blizzard to fix Shadowlands PvP. What's that? 
the hip new show is region locked and you can't watch it? Well, with ExpressVPN, you can change your location with just one click. No. It's a show from anywhere in the world. It's a phone See, you guys seen the nut? could do it. Let's see. What do you guys like? Oh, okay. So I decided to watch the critically acclaimed anime Japan anime. Pero todavía dura, weón. Flower, which is only available in the US. Son 23 minutos de video. ExpressVPN, I was able to change my location and watch the whole thing without a problem. And you know, I gotta say, I quite like it. Wait a minute. This is copyright infringement. Puta. Expect to be hearing from my lawyer. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking yeah. the link in the description yeah, box below. Yeah, this is the last one. Oh, yeah, well, medio ad que nos pa que nos comimos en la cara, güey. Todo bueno, pues, güey. No. Eh. Thanks to my ads no withholding, which is no, yes now no a verb, I have been receiving no. hefty stimulus mm. packages from yeah. simps Same and girls on. alike. And this allowed me to purchase the talisman of ephemeral power for only 700 gold, which I could have spent on at least 1400 night elf lap dances, so uh, maybe it was a waste of money. <laughs> no. I laid down hard with a fat 100. Huh. I know none of these other motherfuckers. <laughs> shit. I'm not sure of it. See? And that's how I got my Azure song. Wait, wait, no, what the fuck, dude? You're a warrior. I know what this is. This guy's trying to bid me up so I end up paying more gold. But I can't afford this, man. I. <sighs> I give up. Wait. Oh. Oh. No. Don't say anything. I won't. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh... Maybe socialism has its merits, after all. No. Qué bonito, dice Edith. Ese es de la... para la conferencia de Lich, ¿verdad? Sí. Punk. As the righteous, upstanding, obviously good guy Alliance Gnome that I once was, I must admit the dark side had clearly wormed its way into my heart. No longer was I the small gnome you've all come to know and love. Now I had become a big, fat, stinky zug zug. Zug zug. And since no. all are clearly the bad guys in the world of Warcraft, it was time for me to claim my vengeance. Nay, justice. I figured Serenity would be my perfect target, so what possible <laughs> plan could I conjure? <laughs> Simple, really. Hit him with the oldest trick in the book. Oh. A goblin sapper charge and some AoE damage from a few mages can wipe an entire raid in seconds. No. So I had a team to assemble. No, mira, Zyra. First of all, set up a shadow discord and get all of your mage friends in there. Set up a certain time and place to meet. Get an alliance team to kill us in a very specific spot so that our bodies are hidden, but we can still res right where Serenity oh, would be. No. Let's not forget the most important piece of the puzzle. My good friend Bradshaw. Bradshaw still raided with Serenity and thus would be my man on the inside. No! Back then, layers were still a thing, but, you know, they've since removed them, but, you know, they were, they were back then, it's old footage, uh... So the night came. And half the mages on the roster didn't fucking show up, but that's okay. Cause we were all there at the gates of AQ. Ready to, um, <clears throat> dunk on them hoes. <laughs> no. We see them on the horizon, and suddenly, all of my heart <laughs> my pain, my suffering. Finally, a shot at redemption. A shot at justice. <laughs> so yeah, we only killed like three people, but one of those people was Kitiara, who was usually Serenity's <laughs> top pumping warrior. But he died on the first boss, so the fact that I killed him doesn't matter. So the next day I finish off a GDKP and I'm going to turn in my <laughs> items when I see Serenity is summoning people on the roof to get their ZG buff. No. Well, I still have a couple sappers in my inventory. Uh... 
After getting my ass promptly beat, my guild talks about needing some backup at the gates of AQ while they summon. I figured Serenity's raid time would be soon, so I head over to help out. My guild zoned into AQ, and shortly after, Serenity arrived at the gates, which I proudly defended to my extremely dying breath. <laughs> Not gonna lie, boys, felt kinda humiliated at this point. Despite my later run into with Serenity being pretty coincidental, I presume they took it as an act of further aggression, so I decided to embrace my meme even further. All shall kneel beneath my, uh, my foot. Witness me! Uh, oh. Oh. No. So they kicked me from the guild discord, and I don't know, man, maybe it wasn't worth it. Leveling a whole other character? Crying about not getting given. <laughs> fuck you. Nah, fuck that. This is the only fun I can have in this fucking game anymore. <laughs> Creating my own roleplay PvP experience is really fun. <laughs> I'd recommend it. Whether your character is Orkman McZuggyZug, who terrorizes the lobbies of Duskwood, or Sir Chad, the guy that PvPs without a chestplate and flexes after man. every kill. <laughs> making a name for yourself with a fun PvP gimmick and a bit of a story is, in my opinion, one of the most fun things you can do in Classic. Because in the end, the only thing better than killing strangers online is killing your friends. I don't hate Serenity, I just... <laughs> I just want bloodshed. <laughs> Do you think my conquest would be so easily thwarted by feelings? My friend, if I was going to give up so easily, I'd have already done it by now. Imagínate, Levi, pudiera ya hacer eso. Nos viera ya todos juntos, todo el disco junto. Y tú, weón, está ahí. Bueno, reja ya No, pero si muere Insta de tu, weón. Slowly, my power grew. O no, pero a mí que te digo. In the white main PvP community. Imagínate, Levi está ahí a un botón de reventar todo, así, pa, matarlo a todos. Reventar a todos, sí. Pero no, no, obviamente nadie va a dejar de ser amigos, sino que en el fondo está ahí a un botón de matar a siete buenos acá en WoW, estábamos conversando, así lo más bien. I mean, for the alliance, uh, kill number one, Kitiara. No. Because he was online, so. I head over to Booty Bay with a mage pal to pump some frost bolts into him. He pops shield wall, but unfortunately, that's not enough to save him from the fact that warriors, upon entering combat with a mage, are clinically diagnosed with erectile dysfunction, <laughs> swiftly followed by deleting your character and turning you gay. I even managed to get a few bites in before we made our great escape. I'm passing BM right now, my dude. Kill number two, and Zelia. I track him down at Eastern Plaguelands and I start hunting. I find him and climb his human female cheek several times. We have an epic chase scene which ends in him unfortunately dead yet again, followed by him taking res sickness and poor things. I decide to call it a night and I snuggle into bed feeling great about myself. And sleep without an ounce of remorse. I log on the next day and who do I find? Anzella. Oh, but he's AFK. I I couldn't kill a man without him being here. I'll just lower his health so that when he comes back, he can see my face before he eats the dirt. <gasps> Feels pretty good oh. to have someone who has better gear than you. But eventually I got bored and moved on when I was told by Branchill that Anzella didn't know who I was and also didn't really speak English, so he couldn't understand my incessant shit talking. <laughs> Now I already knew this was gonna take a while. So I thought back to my training and remembered the ancient technique passed down through generations. No, I get it. This roleplay is so Having more people on your team. <laughs> so I began recruiting a valiant set of knights to do my bidding. I would be the Twitch Eagle streamer, and they, my humble chat mods. I'd reward them with 10 gold per kill on a shout out in my next video. Oh, no. So now the whole world knows that you guys are fucking cheap clout chasers. Oh. Lamel, and of course, Serenity saw the bounty that I'd placed on them. So oh, I'd say it lacks subtlety, but no. I'd say it's an alpha gamer move. So, one late night in Hinterlands, my first pupil, Chilbra, head out to scoop up a couple kills on Shinari and me. And even cannibalized after. God, he makes me so proud. But he didn't get the kill on the Thunder Fury tank, so I'm gonna have to bump him down to an A-. Still, that's two kills. Also, he killed Laser Chicken, but I, I, don't know the, I don't know who that is, so... Next up, Melandra. After getting a sloppily screenshotted kill on Angelzor, she did manage to get a tasteful one-shot on Marty McFarty. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> <finally> <laughs> this count. My right-hand man and my tier 3 sub. This guy leveled a Horde tune just to help kill Serenity. No. He camps Silithus all day and night. And 
this guy had more kills on Serenity than me. Dude, he, he's dangerous. So I head over to Silithus to help him camp one night, and I see two. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. This guy yeah. who laughed at me. We hit him with some pyroblasts until eventually Aww. he flies out of town, never to be seen again. Until this Gant pulls a 400 IQ move of predicting that he was going to Tanaris. We land in Gadget San and see who other than T Lol, who of nah, course runs to the inn to use his hidden technique of logging off and shit talking in Discord once again. We waited in the inn for him to log back on for a whole 50 minutes before we decided <laughs> to take him on for the night. And unfortunately, this was the beginning of a pattern with Serenity. The next day, I tracked down another member to Blackrock Depths, and I waited outside for 40 minutes, but. He never came out. Even Melandra, in hopes to get some extra credit and some boys from the guild, <laughs> camped the portal room to catch her. <laughs> <laughs> and while we spilt plenty of our own blood, none of it was Serenity. I even took my massacre to Ironforge, but still, no Serenity. Every day, the amount of people online in Serenity dwindled. I knew my time was limited, and in my desperation, I put up all the money that I had left. 1,000 gold to anyone who not Serenity. No. Wait, this is a Levy, but a multiplicado kill No. It's been three weeks since Serenity has not been seen raiding. The raid leader left the guild amongst some others. Was it no. unrelated? Does having an angry LARPing gnome biting at your guild's ankles cause some damage over time, or am I giving myself too much credit? Who knows? We so, on? is this it? Did I win? <sighs> the past few weeks have been some of the most fun I've had in Classic. The role-playing, the companionship, the enemies. Serenity may have died, but not in the way I'd hoped. We well, 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 here I am, missing Serenity. Because after all, Pero para tenemos que ser 60 en Classic, No, en Classic no, en Retail. What is the Hunter without the Hunter? No. no. It's me, Pint, from Dancing. Now, most of you people aren't subscribed, so if you like this content, no, please. please. It's time to talk.